Hello, everyone. Anything to anybody? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. David here. I just wanted to post a quick announcement that this Friday I'll be chatting live on YouTube and maybe Rumble. And uh, I'll be talking with Daryl Robert Schoon. And this is a an announcement to give everybody time to uh, prepare your questions or if you want to join us live, there'll be a link. And I just want to point out a couple things here. He has a YouTube channel. Let me go to that right now. So if you're not sure who he is, and I'll put these links in the comments below. This is Daryl. He's a uh, Chinese American from California. And I've had a couple conversations with him before, but this time we're going to dive in. Okay. So that's, that's one page. And then he also has quite a few books he's written. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi here is very slow. So hopefully that's keeping up with me. And then on Amazon, and I'm not sure if there are other places as well, he has a page, Daryl Robert Schoon. This is his latest book, Docking at the Mothership. But he has uh, all these other books as well. I've read uh, three of these books. And... Um, I just don't read as much as I used to because I'm not usually in one place. <laughs> Let me uh, end that. Okay. So this will give you an idea of who he is, what he's talked about over the years. He sent me a document that he was writing or he just wrote recently. It talks a little bit about affirmations. And so I really want to get into that topic because I think in these days that we're in now, I think maintaining a positive mental attitude is going to be very important. So we'll get into that. He's also had some very strong opinions about precious metals, housing, mortgages, banks, and uh, some other topics. So... We'll get into those topics as well. And really, whatever people in a live stream, it kind of takes a life of its own wherever the questions are asked. So you can leave your question here in the comments below for me to ask Daryl, or hopefully you can join us on Friday. It's going to be, we're gonna start at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, the 22nd of December. And that's it. Yeah, there's only one other thing that I'll put a link to since it's the holidays. And that is my Yule log, which I created. YouTube actually uh, deleted it because of uh, copyright. But it's on Rumble. Okay. So that's it. Just a quick announcement. I've also uh, posted several videos of my conversations with Gonzalo Lira. And I'll also bring that up with Daryl, get his thoughts on that. And posted a video yesterday with El Nino, who lives over in Europe. And he is an Israeli-American who served three years in the Israeli Defense Force. And he has some opinions on that I was interested in hearing. And we only scratched the surface. And so I'm going to chat with him again. 
And um, if you have any questions for El Nino as well, put them in the video. And uh, also, uh, you can put them here as well. Big fella, how are you doing? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can join us on Friday. You can, you can make the worldwide appearance of Big on Friday. Going to be um, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, Friday night, which uh, I don't know is Australia 12 hours difference from the east coast of the United States. I don't know. It's uh, approximately 12 hours for China, depending on whether it's daylight savings time. Yeah. So I'm just making a quick video here, unless there's anything that you want to chat about, big fella. Hopefully you're okay. And um, one thing we're going to talk about, Daryl and I, are affirmations. And this is partly for you, is affirmations is the belief that through positive thinking, by setting your mind on where, basically believing that you have or you are where you want to be, that it actually comes to fruition pretty quickly. And Daryl is going to talk about that because he was talking about how the times in his life where he stopped doing affirmations, some bad stuff happened. Sodi, good morning. Good morning. It was good having you on the other night. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully you can join us on um, Friday, Friday night. Uh, Daryl is... Um, I really have come to really like Daryl He's a, because he's a straight shooter. Now, I don't agree with everything Daryl says, and I'm not going to have a, an argument with him, but that's okay. I, I've said this in my video on Gonzalo Lira. If, if we expect to agree with everything that somebody else thinks, we're insane. We're insane. So... Um, I'll bet you there's a lot of people who are married where they don't even agree with each other on everything. And that's okay. I mean, it's, it's how we're going to deal with it. And this is a very interesting topic because in the discussion with El Nino about Israel and it goes to Russia and Ukraine, right? I mean, are these people, I mean, I saw a video clip, a short on YouTube Daryl's on Friday night, Friday night, 22nd of December. I'm just posting an advance notice so that people can, yeah, I didn't want to just hit the live button because, um, which is what I normally do, but I, I scheduled a time with Daryl. So I just want to put it out there. But I saw this, um, the short and it's a show called Peaky Blinders, which I've never seen. I recognize the actor. It's an Irish actor. And um, boy, I forget what I was going to say now. Oh, that's terrible. This is why I have a notepad and I write things down. If I remember it, I'll mention it Friday. But uh, that's it. Just um, the markets are about to open. So that's um, it's going to be a, supposedly it's a quiet week this week. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I've haven't gotten in the saddle yet. Some things going on with Bitcoin. And um, well, we won't get into the market here. So, hey, guys, if there's anything you want to chat about now, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to end the stream and hopefully I'll see you see you on uh, Friday. I am going to post another video from oh, yeah, what I was saying is I'm posting the discussions, the private discussions I had with Gonzalo Lira. And I didn't want to do that. That's why they're private. But I'm putting them out there because, number one, the Ukrainians already have access to all his accounts. And so they already have all this information. So me putting it public isn't going to hurt him in any way. <clears throat> and I also just want to bring it, just keep him in the discussion. I'm constantly contacting the politicians and the Ukrainian Oh, I'm sorry, the U.S. ambassador in Ukraine, I'm constantly tweeting her. And my guess, 
is she probably has shadow banned me, which is what the government can do, is they can ban your tweets so nobody sees them, but you see them. So you think you're still communicating when in reality nobody can see it. And my guess is that's what's happening. And this world of ours, we really are going to have to, we're going to have to fight for this if we want the life that I think everybody wants. And we've allowed Julian Assange to rot in prison. We've allowed Gonzalo Lira to rot in prison. There's, there's another guy named Ross Ulbrick, and I don't know his whole story. He created the Silk Road. Now, I've heard, I've read different things online, but this is the thing, is they manipulate the information so you don't know what's true and what's not true. Yeah, what's going on with Bitcoin, Zodi? Um, well, I saw yesterday that there was an announcement by BlackRock that... Um, and I don't remember the exact announcement. BlackRock is one of the companies that wants to create an ETF on Bitcoin, which will be wonderful because I'm sure we can trust BlackRock. And they made a comment that everybody took as bullish for Bitcoin. And the only thing I'll say about the banksters is the one thing that you can count on them doing is they will pump so that they can dump. And it's musical chairs, right? They know in advance. They work in concert with the Fed and with the politicians. And they all know when it's going to go up, where it's going to stop, and when it's coming down. And that's how they make a lot of money. And then we're left holding the bag. And um, this is why I don't think that you can afford to buy and hold anymore. There's just too much risk, way too much risk. You're going to have to be a, a, a scalper, a sniper, where you get in, you grab, and you go. Because if you stay too long, you get run over. ETF won't happen? Um, I, I don't know. But the one thing that I think will happen, and I could definitely be wrong on this. It's just my opinion. It's not financial advice on what to do. But I think we've seen a pump up. Yesterday, we saw the miners, the, the Bitcoin, the crypto miners. They got a bid this week. They've been going, oscillating, but they're starting to get a bid. Let me see if they're getting a bid this morning. Yeah, my Wi-Fi. I don't even know if this is coming through because <laughs> the Wi-Fi here is where I am in my room. It's, it's terrible. Um, okay. So I think that um, everything will pump and then it's buy the rumor, sell the news. So no matter what happens with Bitcoin, when the announcement is made, yeah, the miners, the Bitcoin miners are, are up. But they haven't, if you look at the resistance line, they haven't broken resistance yet. So that will be very interesting if they start taking off. And even the markets, I think um, when the new year rotates, I think January will finally see a correction on stuff. And because what we're seeing is, is pure insanity. It reminds me of the time I was in a casino and um, I was at the roulette wheel and I just, I had already lost my money. So I decided to watch. I, mean, I had played the red-black strategy, and I lost three times in a row, and I was like, all right, I'm done. It went like 22 or 24 times in a row, red, 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 red. And I ran the calculations on that. <clears throat> it's not possible. It's not possible unless I happen to be there at the one time in history that it happened. So I guess it is possible, but is it likely? No. Everything's a fraud. It really is. And, and I mentioned it in the last video with El Nino. We don't have people. We don't have people who we can trust. The days of fiduciary responsibility where people are held accountable for their actions. What, 
it's like a pendulum, right? And it's going to have to swing back. And the swing back the other way is going to be pretty bad. It's going to be pretty bad until we get to a peace, a place where there's peace. I mean, our current our current situation, it's, it's sinking quickly. It's sinking quickly. So, but uh, Daryl will be fireworks, guaranteed. Daryl is always fireworks. So I, I look forward to it. And I'm bringing out some topics that I think will be very, very interesting. All, every, all of his conversations, are, I have a playlist called Daryl Robert Schoon, so you can go back and look at our past discussion. Yeah. So, but that's it. I got to go. And uh, you folks have a great day and um, hope to see you on Friday. And there'll be a couple more videos coming on Gonzalo Lira. And you can always leave your comments there. And uh, that's it. Peace. Have a great day, guys.